everybody sorry that's way too loud sorry we're out of focus that's just the vibe we're going on y'all let me be real with you i just spent the last hour and a half oh dude i've got a lag between obs that's going to make getting in focus a challenge doesn't seem to be changing the okay okay This has been my entire evening, is just figuring out why are things not working? Is there a lag between the audio and the video? I don't want to see a lag in the video. That's strange. Um, the mic is not working. You can you hear me? Okay. Hmm. I see no reason for the mic to not be working, so. That's not great. Can you hear me now? What is happening? It's been two and a half hours now of me trying to get all this tech set up. This is why I need a sound person, because I am not a tech person. You can hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Can you not hear me now? There's an audio delay. Let's try turning the camera on and off again. Maybe that'll do it. When in doubt, unplug it and plug it back in. 
little closer. Yeah, this still seems basically right, right? Okay. I'm gonna change my lip color because one thing that happened earlier is I ate dinner and then I had this gradient on my lips that went from this berry to this coral. It was very beautiful. Um, and then I ate dinner and it blended into this color, you could call it, and it's not a vibe. So I'm just gonna change it to red real quick. much better we spam it's not the best application of it but you know what it's close enough hey everybody turn slow mode on i would love to uh, live chat enable slow mode baby what's up <laughs> we in business now sorry for that everybody so anyway words ain't enough coming out tonight with chloe boyando how are we all feeling about that? We stoked as all get out? Yes, we are. Some of y'all like slow chat, some of y'all don't. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm frazzled. Again, I've been spending the last two hours troubleshooting. I thought it was my HDMI port, it wasn't. What would you like to hear me play tonight while we move forward? Mm -hmm. Bad ideas. That'll be fun. It's been a second since I played that one. don't have control over how things are going to be and you can choose to be present you know i don't i think you're wrong about that i mean can you hear this this is the camera audio so i'll um can you hear me now Only if you're angry. I love that. Y'all asking me if the mic is plugged in here. Um, I mean, as far as I can tell, no. <laughs> but I'm really not a tech person. This is my best uh, go at it. So. Sorry, everybody. I don't know what compels me to do the very thing that fails me. I wake up still high on you, but by the night I'm crashing through. Can you hear this?
But that fixed it, huh? Yeah, I can see that it did. Sorry, everybody. Much better, right? Okay. All right. I don't know what compels me to do the very thing that fails me. I wake up still high on you, but by the night I'm crashing through. So why I'd want to kiss you even though I miss you. Guess I just want to know what it would feel like. Oh, no, hey, bad ideas, I know where they lead. But I got too many to sleep and I can't get enough, no I wanna kiss you standing up, but oh no And if tomorrow makes me low, no Will it be worth it just to know? Cause I can't get enough, no I wanna kiss you standing up, but oh Smitten's a bad look on me And if I'm talking honestly It takes everything I got not to text And I just, I just want a kiss to get me through Cause now all my bed sheets smell like you So if you think you miss me Come on back and kiss me I just gotta know what you and I would feel like Oh, no, hey Bad ideas I know where they lead But I got too many to sleep And I can't get enough, no I wanna kiss you standing up But oh no And if tomorrow makes me low, no Will it be worth it just to know Cause I can't get enough, no I wanna kiss you standing up, oh Beep, 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 beep Hey! 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 I'm so excited! 34 minutes! And then everybody gets to hear it. Some of y'all have already heard it. What do you think so far? Let me be real. I like the version with Chloe more than the version that's just me. I think her voice really adds a warmth and a depth to the song, and I love our harmonizing together. Where's Chloe? We're gonna bear off for on this second. Do you guys have any questions for Chloe for when she comes on? Ooh, that's kind of an interesting chord. Our voices go together so well. I know, right? Separate me from the rest of the herd So I can run away from all of my hurt Oh, drink what I want I want say what you want me to say like I can pretend that I don't want it and I'm afraid I'm dangerous weave a story so I don't have to talk no it's not a problem if I never get caught oh drink what I want be what I want say what you want me to say like I can pretend that I don't want it and I'm afraid I'm dangerous oh 
Wishful drinking, go ahead and stop your thinking now, and throw it down, 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 down. Wishful drinking, oh, oh. wishful drinking, go ahead and stop your thinking now, and throw it down, 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 down. Wishful drinking, oh. Do you think, do you think that they notice? I keep a bottle by my bed, it's the focus Drink what I want, be what I want Say what they want you to say Like I can pretend I don't wanna and I'm afraid We have a story so I don't have to talk No, it's not a problem if I never get caught Oh, drink what I want, be what I want Say what you want me to say Like I can pretend that I don't wanna and I'm afraid Oh, wishful drinking, go ahead and stop your thinking now, and throw it down, 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 wishful drinking, oh, oh, wishful drinking, go ahead and stop your thinking now, and throw it down, 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 wishful drinking, oh. This is not a problem if I don't want it to stop Can't call it a problem if I never let a play drop This is not a problem if convincing that it's not Don't call it a problem, it's the only thing that I still got Down, down, wishful drinking now. New songs, new songs, new songs. <gasps> I'm so excited. Words ain't enough. Oh my gosh, there's a thousand people watching. You guys, I... <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I'm shy. I'm out of my element tonight. <laughs> That's okay. We are practicing self-compassion. It's not easy to jump straight into a show from troubleshooting is fine we are vibing okay what am i doing i'm pulling up patreon um so that oh no i'm not logged in okay you guys will have to ask me questions in the chat um and we're gonna be on chloe get spotify going get everything up and running y'all are amazing take a sweet break with i want you by Chloe Moriano. Swimming in my t-shirts, no matter the weather, say what you mean, I wanna be with you. I see you in the water, straps on your glasses, say what you mean, I wanna be with you. I can't take it. Right in front of me I can't fake this Say what you mean I wanna be with you I know my shit's weird And I live in the suburbs And it's almost unnatural How I might act around you Give me a chance To say what I mean
Please welcome to the stage Chloe Moriando. A round of applause, everybody. Oh, no, I pressed <laughs> the wrong button. <laughs> here we go. I'm here. We're both in. We're doing it. Thank you so <laughs> much for bearing Thank with you. me tonight. Hi. Hello. You look fantastic. You sound fantastic. I'm sorry that my lighting and my audio quality isn't as fantastic as yours right now. You but. are a beautiful <laughs> angel who can do no wrong. Do not no, you. even worry about it. <laughs> so, who's I want to be like you about? <laughs> That's me with you with everything. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Um, will you play a song for us? Yes, I will. I'm, I have my guitar. I'm going to play some manta rays, if that's okay with y'all. Since you just heard I want to be with you, I figured I'll do some, some manta. Yes. Um, it's going to be a little lo-fi sounding, but that's fine. <laughs> it's not, okay. Honestly, audio sounds great. Cool. All right. I'm glad then. Thank you all for, for being here. I hope you're excited for Words in Enough because I'm more excited than all of you combined. <clears throat> Trying to dream of you for so long, I can't even remember when I first decided your face was the one I wanted my mind to conjure. I never knew Manta Rays were so big till I got high and had to Google it. I'm not obsessed, the feelings just there, and I'm trying hard to forget you. Trying hard to forget you Your honey voice echoes in every noise And I know this is just how it goes I know, I know, I know, I know But there are pistols tell me that it's best to let it be But I wanna light fires I Explode, I wanna be everything you want to know. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's always for you, it's all for you. Shiny pearl, you're one in the world, the type you want to lean on. Wish I were something suited for that. I skip every song that won't remind me of you, cause if it does, then it's not worth the time. I wish I had more time with you. And I want to be your happy. More than what I am in general. Don't tell 
me that this means anything. I promise I understand. But it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. your little dancing and wiggling i love you so much i can't know you um <laughs> you're such a thoughtful songwriter and you have such a beautiful voice will you tell me a little bit about writing that song if you want to thank you i appreciate that um manta Race was like the first song i ever wrote on guitar like ever wow. um it was like right after i got home from uh london like my first like big long trip to London I had like some shows there and I was recording for the Spirit Orb EP with Robin um and it was fantastic and then I got home and I was super jet lagged and um I I was like uh I want to make some guitar music now and I had like this really like weird unhealthy infatuation with someone at that time that I like I was just like ready to pour my brain out into a song about it and I did and um wrote it in open e tuning because I still suck at guitar (laughs) um so that made it easier for me to be able to play like some fun nice open chords without it being too difficult for my fingers um and yeah it was it was really cathartic for me to be able to write that and like now share it with people I don't know I'm really glad that you like it yeah (laughs) of course it is such a cathartic experience I feel like I was um (laughs) not my uh camera about to die that's okay no no it's okay no. it is what it is we'll just use this camera if it gets there um okay i feel like i saw i know what it was <laughs> i was watching the reputation um netflix taylor swift tour thing and she was oh, talking about yeah. how with all too well like it's funny how a song when you write it it means something and then when you release it it takes on its own story and its own meaning and I'm like yeah that's so true it's amazing how yeah for sure when you write a song it's so like personal it means exactly this and then like every time you sing it it's like each show becomes a part of that song story for sure I get exactly what you mean by that because I feel like I don't songs can mean a lot of mean a lot of different things to me obviously they always have their original intention and sometimes that sticks for its entire lifetime but a lot of the time I find songs to be a lot more special when you can add more meaning to them the more they grow and exist in your brain I guess yeah. what do you think <laughs> yeah. is your favorite of your songs um <clears throat> there's a lot of I think I like a lot of like unreleased stuff right now the best but for right now like the stuff that's out i would probably say i want to be with you just because like scream (laughs) such a vibe taha sent me that one before it came out and i was like i love taha so much oh my god i miss both of y'all queen truly (laughs) i'm Um, glad you like it yeah when was the last time you were on tour I, we squeezed one in uh the uk like cave town one that i supported yeah. it was like right before coronavirus was like really happening i think it was like february yeah maybe or march i'm not sure it was like really close we cut it really close and then we came home and everyone was like okay no more flying was like, yeah Whoa. was yeah. that um that's okay we're gonna turn that part off and i'm over here now i'm just tinier sorry everybody <laughs> <laughs> camera um, died yes it's it's been a day, you know. You've been on and off with me all evening, uh, sound checking. It's totally fine, dude. What? I'm on my laptop right now. That's good. What would a release day be without uh, troubleshooting? Uh, absolutely nothing. If there's not stress, what is there? Who could say? Um, <laughs> y'all, I'm also looking at the chat. If you have any questions you'd love to ask Chloe, let me know and I'll pass them along. <laughs> so- 
<laughs> Sana says, is there any YouTuber uh, Taha isn't friends with? That's a great <laughs> question. I don't think so. Taha he is friends with everyone. Everybody. He knows literally everyone. And yeah. that's very admirable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you feel like next time you're going to go on tour, it'll look different uh, because your music is like so much more rock heavy now? Oh my god, I like can't even wait. I I don't even like know what it's gonna look like yet because obviously like right now things are very moving parts and um, I'm not gonna start touring until everything is safe to tour and until I'm ready to tour obviously. Yeah. But um, I've been like rehearsing a lot of newer stuff with like um, my band that I've been practicing with and it's just been like such a cool exciting thing. I don't know. I, I'm, I hope that when I get to or as as soon as I can tour, it will look much different than the shows that anyone has seen of me so far because it's going to be rad. I'm really excited. Yes, I can't wait to see it. Um, someone's asked, uh, Chloe, what first inspired you to start making music? That's like, I don't know. I feel like I've always just been like a music kid. I don't know. It never really seemed like anything else was an option for me. Like, I, I mean... I don't know. I I feel like I've just been making up crap in my head like since I was able to like the radio and like listening to like cover artists on YouTube and stuff and like people making their own original stuff on the internet like growing up like late elementary school was when I really started like diving into the internet. So I, it kind of inspired me to actually like maybe open the notes app and start recording the stuff that I was writing, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Um, what do you feel like, this is a me question, not a chat question. Um, mm -hmm. who are like some of your favorite artists that you're like most excited about like right now? And by right now, I mean like this month slash this summer. That's like difficult. Cause I feel like there's been so much good new music that I don't even, I don't really know where to start. <laughs> um, but there's, I've been listening to Meet Me at the Altar a lot. Recently. I don't know them. There's so they're so cool. They recently signed with Fueled by Ramen, and they're, like, incredible. Wait, I think I saw you retweet them. Does she have the pink, um... Yeah, their, their front woman has, like, the sick, like, really bright locks. They're really cool. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. That's awesome. They're, they're really sick. They're really cool. I've been, honestly, listening to just anything I can get my hands on recently, because it feels like that's the only thing I've, I have, like, the capacity to do right now. Yeah. <laughs> um... But I don't know. I I feel like it's been very – I feel like I've been almost reverting a little bit, too, in my music taste. Yeah. Like, I've been listening to a lot of older stuff as well. Me, too. Like, what kind of it's, older stuff? What's older to you? Older to me is, like, like 2009 Avril. Yes. Like that. Yeah. for me it has been what I've been listening to a lot um but I don't know it's been I've been all over the place with music I just want to listen to and make everything I've been listening to like a lot more hyper pop than I would have expected myself to also in this time period which has been fun yeah <laughs> it's been good hear you reference like 2009 Avril because I feel like I've been listening to a lot of like 2003 Avril I'm like I want to hear to every listen to every hit guitar pop song like super pop guitar that was like happening between the year 2000 and 2005 i completely get that <laughs> it hit different in that era it did they they did a lot they did a lot for us and i'm hoping that we can somehow channel that energy yeah I think these, we all these coming want years we're like we're we're tired of sad pop we want we want to be smashed in the face by guitars now do you know yeah. the song The Anthem by Good Charlotte? I don't think I do. I feel like I might. Not, like 99 maybe, but if you want to be smashed in the face by some guitar pop, it's a pretty good option. I will remember that because I'm pretty sure like my brothers listened to Good Charlotte or something when I was younger. I just yes. don't know if I remember yeah. too vividly. <laughs> um, I saw some questions about Words Ain't Enough. People would like to know how long has it been in the works? Um, did we sing Distanced? We did not because we recorded it like right before all the COVID stuff happened. So yeah, it was one of the last like, things I think I did before all of this. Um, one of the last few like in-person things for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just 
threw it down. She did it perfectly, almost the first try. And it's like, great, sounds awesome. <laughs> um, someone wanted to know. It was not to put incredible. You on the spot. Tessa was so sweet. Stop. I was nervous. What? I'm nervous all the time. <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> not to put you on the spot, but someone wanted to know what's your favorite lyric from Words Ain't Enough? I am obsessed with this song. When. Okay, hold on. I forgot that I can actually change the view so we're both the same size. <laughs> Why am I like this? I I don't know if it's just because I enjoy like the music that goes with this part or if it's the lyric itself as well. But um the uh carve me up into someone you'd like to choose till I'm only pieces of you, that one. That one's so beautiful. That line is so beautiful. It's delivered so nicely in like the original, like with you and Dodie singing it. I remember when I first watched that video of you guys doing another I was like we stand the queen crazy. herself so <laughs> it's, it's so good it's Thank so good so I feel so so blessed to be on this song <laughs> dude I'm so stoked you you have such I know I just keep saying this over and over again but you do you have such a beautiful warm voice and I'm so stoked to have you on it also of Thank course you. shout out to our queen Dodie we stand um queen shit always doing queen shit literally um <laughs> Do you know when your next uh, thing is coming out after this? When uh, my okay next if thing? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't actually. It's going to be within like the next couple months at least. Wow. Fun. Yeah. I, I just finished uh, doing some, some in-person stuff for um, a new song that's going to be coming out pretty soon, which I'm excited about. And um, there's, I don't know. I'm, just bursting at the seams to talk about it. So I'm not going to like open my mouth too much, but I'm excited. I don't know that much about when things are happening, but I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to hear it. That is so exciting. It's so fun to have a new Thank project you. and um, I don't know, something to share. Uh, yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I have more and more of a understanding that like, music makes you feel powerful and not not like music you make although also that um but i just like a lot of the music i've been listening to lately it's like what do i like about listening to music like kind of across the board and i'm like it's it makes me feel powerful even like sad songs or songs about not being empowered still make you feel powerful because they give you um an understanding for what your feeling is and to understand your feelings is very powerful um, yeah for sure yeah that's a good way to put it. I never really thought about it like that. Yeah. Spot on like that, but it's totally correct. <laughs> yeah. um, what advice would you give to a new songwriter? Uh, w tips to give to a new songwriter, you said? Yes. I don't just honestly... I think I heard this in like a writing session once or something, but just like write like you're drunk and edit like you're sober. Just wow. write everything down that you want to write. Like it does not matter if it seems stupid or if you might not want to put it in or whatever. Just like, I feel like the more you write and then leave it alone and go back and edit it later, the better your work will be for sure. That's so smart. Um, yeah, that's. I don't even remember who told me that. I'm so mad. I wish I could like credit them, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like my manager said something similar to me, which is like, there's just no space for an editor when you're writing. Like that's if you're not. It is unhelpful completely to critique something as you write it. Like first, just get everything out and then go back to it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at the. That's chat. a lot more helpful and efficient in general. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, someone says that they're a new songwriter and they'll be writing these notes down. I love that. You're going to do so Hell good. Hell yeah. I love when people like comment about how they're like starting their own stuff or learning different instruments. That's like yeah. my favorite thing. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people say to me, like, I want to write songs, but like, I'm not good at it. And it's like, yeah, no one's good at anything when they first try it. <laughs> All it is is practice. Every time you do it is practice. Sometimes even now, like having, you know, written as much as I've written, I feel nervous when I have to, when it's like time to write something. I'm like, what if I don't write anything good? What if it's bad? I don't know. And it's just like, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's 
bad. You're just like you're playing, you know, you're literally being creative. You're practicing. Don't put so much pressure on it. Sorry, yeah, it's <laughs> no, I got you. Writing is interesting. Whenever people are like, I want to write, but I'm I'm bad at writing. I'm like, me too. But I do it for <laughs> my job. So I'm like, <laughs> you just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and write what feels good to you and edit it later when you're not feeling as hypercritical of yourself, maybe. Yeah. Those are the things that I would stick to for sure <laughs> yeah um Shaylee yeah. says for Chloe um what was it like going from a softer style of music to a more alternative type um were there any challenges there or was it completely natural tell me about it that's I don't know it's I made like all my first my like up like my first stuff that I released like my first quote-unquote album that like I call it EP, but it like totally was album length. <laughs> um, was all like done, like produced, mixed, and mastered by myself, even though I don't know how to do any of those things. <laughs> uh, so I started off very soft sounding in general because I started with like covers and just like me and my ukulele or my guitar just like on on a camera. Um, and I was also like 13 to like 16 <laughs> when I released a lot of this stuff. Wow. So I think. That's yeah, it was, it was, I, I think a lot of the stuff that I made on Rabbit Hearted, I wrote when I was like 13. Um, wow. And it kind of just built up and then I just like recorded all of it and put it out. And it, I'm really glad that people ended up liking it. And um, I feel really grateful for that. But now I feel like this like switch over a little bit in my style has felt really natural just because like, I'm an 18 year old, you know, growing up, going through experiences. I feel like a bunch of artists right now are going through a bunch of different like changes and style switches and stuff. And it's cool as hell. I think now is the time to do whatever the hell you want. And we're definitely in a growing, changing time. So yeah, yeah. it did feel very natural just because it's, it's me. I've been sticking to my, the stuff that I like this whole time. So yeah. I'm grateful that people have stuck with me through that still. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel like is yeah. the biggest thing you've learned about yourself, like, during this quarantine time? I think, um, Jesus, I feel like I've learned a lot <laughs> about myself in quarantine. Um, but I definitely uh, need to prioritize taking care of myself a lot more than I thought I did before. Mm -hmm. um, like, I think a lot of people in quarantine have probably realized this. But um, when there's less structure to your day, like you don't really have to go somewhere, like right when you wake up, it's uh, really easy to neglect yourself and like not focus on your own well-being before getting your work done and before, you know, diving into whatever your plans are for the day. Um, like I definitely had to like <laughs> focus on like wake up go like eat and take care of yourself before you start like getting on your email and on your calls or on social media or whatever that's yeah. something I need to focus on a lot more still um that I've noticed <laughs> that's awesome what a great I mean I feel like everything that you learn about yourself is always a good thing um like mm -hmm. power is knowledge is power you know mm-hmm power is knowledge knowledge is power knowledge is po power is knowledge you're right Y'all, thank you for saying my makeup looks so good. I feel like... It does look so good. Thank you. I feel like I really killed it tonight, but then I'm like, now that I have, you know, not my normal camera angle, I'm like, what is happening? Just kidding. I look amazing, and thank you. It. I. <laughs> you look great. You look incredible. The lipstick matches the dress perfectly. It suits you very well. Wow, thanks. Um, so you this is a question for both of you. What are y'all's tips on self-love and confidence? Hmm. This is a interesting one. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like it's it's something you get used to and you learn more how to do every day. I, as like an eighteen year old who like just recently graduated high school and like is still trying to outgrow like the stereotypical like high school teenage girl mindsets and like 
all of that. I don't know. It's, um, I think being understanding with yourself and your own situation and having empathy for yourself is like so important. And a lot of people um, tend to be a bit overcritical, overcritical, especially like teenagers and people in general right now. Um, so I think it's, I don't know, it's good to be compassionate with yourself when you're trying to love yourself more. Yes. I was going to say the same thing. Self-compassion. Self-compassion, baby. Um, Self-compassion. You know, I think people get real hung up on like, how do I love myself? And by what they mean by that is like, how do I make myself adore myself? And I'm like, take the pressure off the feeling and just like start by being kind and compassionate with who you are and like treat yourself like someone who is um, very loved. And like, I think that feeling follows when you start to treat yourself um, like the sweet child that you are. Yeah. And that's for everybody at every age. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, Words Ain't Enough is going to be out in less than 60 seconds. Anything you'd like to say before the release? <laughs> I'm hella excited and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> yes, we stand. Everybody, please add it to one of your playlists. Um listen to it tell your friends about it it really is a special song and i'm glad that it's getting this um new spotlight and attention on it and i'm so glad that chloe you could sing on it you sound so beautiful thank you so much i'm grateful to be on it absolutely okay everybody enjoy goodbye hell uh, yeah hell yeah baby i'm like waiting to press it because i'm like i don't know if what we've said has been said yet but I'm just going to assume it has. Bye. Okay. Stream is done.